Hey everybody, Donovan here. Uh, I'm going to do a quick review. I haven't done one in a while. And this is one that I'm just getting ready to send out. And I want to get a quick review on it because I think it's pretty interesting. So uh, we'll get right into it. So basically, this is a bare bones a V2 that I got a while ago. Um, I'm not going to do too much flipping with it because I don't want to wreck it before I ship it out. And I have to redo everything. So uh, so yeah, this is the v uh, V2 that I bought as a trainer originally. I still have the trainer blade. I'm sending that out too. I just don't have it with me. Um... Excuse me. So it's a Hammer Designs reblade that uh, I got done by him. Once I like the first first month I had it, I got done re or redone by him. Um, and I love it so far. It runs on bushings and all the original hardware. I, all he did was just make the blade. Um, personally, I don't really like Hammer Design um, or his designs in general. Like the blade is pretty boring. I mean, it's cool and pictures of it are cool. But when you get the real thing, it's just pretty boring and disappointing. Um, his quality control isn't too awesome. He grinds against the grain, or with the grain, so it looks really stupid when he grinds against the grain when he does the actual grinds. Uh, actually, his grinds aren't even straight either. I tried to sh um, fix it a little bit, but uh, as you can see, they're not very straight. And it, got, it was really annoying when I first got it, because he charges a lot. And then I found out later on... Um, that's only like, I think it's AEL steel. So it wasn't even like that high of a quality steel. It was like a $20 per billet. And he charged me way more than, you know, you needed to. Uh, I just tuned it, so it's pretty quiet. I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna do too fancy stuff because I don't wanna drop it. But uh, yeah, that's, this is it so far. This is how it is. Um, actually, I, so I rounded the handles. These are the modifications I did do it personally. Like I personally did. I rounded the handles. And then I cut them off right here, make them shorter because they're pretty long. Um, and then after that, I actually you see I milled a groove. You can't really see it very well. I milled a groove going on the in, on the inside of this about halfway to lighten up both the handles. You can do. I, I was going to do it all four, but I didn't have enough time, so uh, that didn't happen. But uh, yeah, this is review. Um, I don't see too many hammer design blade reviews out there. I've only seen. Two, and those aren't even reblades, they're just regrinds on them. Where he does like a texturing and stuff like that. I mean, some of it's cool that he can do, Oop. but other of it, it's pretty basic stuff. And that blade looked like it probably took him an hour to do. So, pretty disappointed um, by it with the amount I paid for it and the amount of time I took for waiting on it. Just disappointed. I wouldn't recommend him at all. Um, I think he's. Like I said, terrible with the quality control. Um, if you want something good, don't buy a bare bones. <laughs> uh, like if you want to, you know, pay that much for the blade, and then plus the knife that you actually have to pay for him first. Um, like I said, just don't buy a bare bones if you if you're looking for a knife that you want to modify. Get a, I know, a rep or an alpha uh, alpha beast or something good by BRS or uh, I think I have a Zephyr, so I personally that's what I flip most of the time but uh yeah get a 51 or something other than a bare bones and stay away from anything that has to do with hammer designs unless it's aftermarket and it's a lot cheaper like i said not worth the money in my opinion definitely not worth the time that it took for me to go through it worst part is he didn't tell me how much it was until after like i asked him a bunch of times and he just kept changing the subject literally just kept changing the subject on me and i was like oh okay it must not be too bad then sent it into him Found out the price, and I was mad. <laughs> I wish I wouldn't have gone through with it, but it's not that big of a deal. I got to see what was out there and what kind of people there were in the community. Kind of left a bad taste in my mouth, though. But uh, like I said, just don't don't buy it from him. Don't uh, associate yourself with him. Um, but yeah, that's my review. Um, it came sharp. It came pretty sharp. I gotta admit that. But uh, that's about it. <laughs> So just stay away from Hammer Designs uh, modifications. Go for somebody like uh, DC Blade Works. He does a pretty cool, um, you know, he, do, he does an entire, like he does, I've seen him do 87s and completely change the, you know, the style and everything, the weight. Uh, it's amazing. If you want a good knife, go through him to get it modified. But don't, and he does bare bones too, actually. And uh, reblades and stuff. So yeah, do DC Blade Works. Um, stay away from hammer, hammer designs and uh, yeah, that's the video. Uh, thank you for watching um, I'm gonna try and post more often 
But uh, if I don't, sorry, <laughs> I don't even know when I'm going to post this video. But uh, yeah, that's my review. Yeah, see you later.